Hello internet, my name is Mark and today I have a totally random video for you. We're gonna be seeing if I can taste the differences between LaCroix without knowing what the labels are. In other words, I'll be putting a LaCroix flavor in each of these 10 identical paper cups with their flavor on the bottom and we'll see if I can guess them correctly. I will then be making my own tier list of LaCroix. Anyway, grab your own water. If you have a LaCroix, get it. I don't care if it's LaCroix, just we're going with LaCroix. If you check out this video here, you can see that I moved my whole desk around. So now it faces windows and I can't really sit on the other side of my desk to do this, so we're on the floor, which is no stranger to me. I know that there have been LaCroix tier lists in the past, and I know people have done some like, can I taste the difference between these flavors of water? And those are obviously much more difficult because I feel like this will be easy. But I have also wondered if like on a psychological level almost, if the labels of something have influenced your taste of them. They undoubtedly do, but I'm curious as to how strong it is on me. I don't think I've ever had a few of these flavors, and I know that some of them are gonna be easy, like coconut. I hate coconut, so if it tastes anything like actual coconut, easy win. Mango, I love, but apparently LaCroix mango is not good, and I've never had LaCroix mango, so we'll see. We're gonna put these in the cups now and line them up properly so that I might have a chance of guessing, and I, no sips beforehand, so I don't have any hints or anything, but. Without a desk to use, I really don't know what the best way to do this is, but we have them all poured out. A ton of them I can smell, so I think this is gonna be really easy, but I remember seeing a LaCroix tier list ages ago, and then I saw videos from Ludwig and Critical doing a water taste test, and obviously that's a lot harder, but I figured why not mix the two, so I'm gonna go get my mom, she's gonna randomize these cups, and then uh, we'll see how I do. All right, so they've been shuffled. The dog almost got to some of them. Wow, they, they've... They're bubbly. Okay, we're gonna try smelling each one and seeing if I can deduce from that what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna burp so much. This literally doesn't taste like anything. Move them each forward. Ow. I'm gonna put this in front of orange for now. <laughs> this is so stupid. Ooh, I'm getting tangerine from this one. Oh yeah. More smell than anything, tangerine, pretty pretty confident about that one. The only ones I could really smell were key lime and coconut, but I felt tangerine vibes. Mm. Oh, oh, I think this is mango. Mm. Because like at first I like it, and then it doesn't go so hot. But I know I like key lime, but it's like weirdly sweet. I'm gonna go with mango for now. I'm not a fan. Ah. From what I remember, it's not the same as my reaction to hibiscus, so I don't think it's that. This strikes me as a passion fruit, because Raz Cranberry was also pretty strong. So I feel like I'll get Raz Cranberry. This is lime, because it's not as sweet as key lime. I'm gonna go with lime. We're gonna go with lime. <laughs> this is coconut. <laughs> I don't, I despise coconut. Coconut, if you put coconut on something, I'm out. If that's wrong, yeah. all the all the flower ones taste the same. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with hibiscus just because it's the one that's left. What I haven't been? Okay, we're missing key lime, pomplamoon. Okay, good. Mm. Key lime, hell yeah. I like the key lime one. I'm a fan. God, I can still feel the coconut. You know, I have rice, cranberry, and pomplamoon. Grapefruit left. I'd actually be pretty confident in calling this one pomplamoose. So this has to be Raz Cranberry. And if this isn't Raz Cranberry, I don't know what is. Oh wait, no. Wait, what? When I cracked open the Raz Cranberry, I smelled it and I was like, oh, yep. I don't like this. But this isn't... Uh-oh. Hmm. What were the ones... Okay, I was iffy. Okay, so I'm iffy on this because that's not... Rice cranberry. I feel pretty good about that one. Orange and uh, passion fruit. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is oh, 100% coconut. And I'm never 100%. This is definitely lime. It's gotta be. Key lime, you can practically smell it. It's the only like sweet one of the bunch. That just, I have probably had grapefruit the most. So I feel like that's gotta be grapefruit. <laughs> 
I keep thinking it's gonna be good, but it's not. You know, I just get that that citrus, the the, the tangerine. Like when you when you peel open like an orange or a clementine, and you get that like smell. That's the tangerine one, hundred percent. I'm gonna pseudo randomize these because I mean technically I know which one's which. Oh, you know what? This is Raz Cran. Raz Cranberry. I'm, I, I'm I'm feeling pretty good about that one. No way this is orange. I don't know. That's on someone. That might be patch. That might be whatever the frick it's called. Well, when it really comes down to four, it comes down to it. Whatever this is, I don't like it. Okay, this has got to be orange. See, I remember when I had hibiscus, I was able to drink the entire thing. I feel like I would throw this out. Okay, so we're going to go passion fruit, and we're going to go hibiscus. Whew. All right. Okay. It is time. <clears throat> Ugh. So we're going to drink this entire thing, and then flip it over. Yeah. <clears throat> passion fruit, baby. Passion fruit. Let's get it. Passion fruit, epic. You know, this, again, I said this was gonna be not difficult, but maybe maybe I thought about it a little too much. Ah, the one I thought was orange is... Not orange, what? Mango! Mango's pretty good then. Huh, fascinating, okay. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised that I got that one wrong. So we're gonna switch over to mango because if mango is an orange, that means I got at least three wrong. So we're gonna go to the mango one. The one I don't like. Wait, is this Raz Cran? All right, the one that I thought was mango. Oh my God, it's Cran Raz. Wait, how did I not get that? I should have gotten that. Frick. It's weird, because when I got to the orange one, I was like, oh, this one is the most interesting of them all. But I guess I was wrong in all counts. I also got Raz Cran wrong, which I'm very surprised about, because I smelled it first thing, but I, huh. Oh, I can feel the gas building up. Okay, this has to be orange. The, this is the one that I thought was Raz Cran at first. I was too set on Raz Cran, so I went with it. What? What? <laughs> what? You're kidding. How have I gotten this much wrong? I was definitely getting a citrus vibe from the line, but maybe this is orange? Please. This has to be orange. Because everything else I'm too confident about. Actually, passion fruit and hibiscus, I'm not. This is more like lime to me than anything. Pumplemousse? <laughs> no! No! Are you joking? I mean, it's still got the sit. Okay, so the one that tastes like nothing surely has to be orange, right? Look at that, it's orange, fantastic. So I have five wrong and one correct. Why are we still here? Just to suffer every night. I'm really confident about the last four because if hibiscus, if passion fruit was right, and I already know Raz Cran and Pumpkin Moose are taken, then it's gotta be, it's gotta be hibiscus correct, tangerine's gotta be correct, coconut and key lime are un both unfortunately correct. All right, coconut, I hate you. I hate you with the passion. If I don't smell it, it's fine. Yeah, coconut, hunt, yeah, coconut, easy. Save me, key lime. Mm. All right. All right, it is very epically key lime, wonderful. This is too much, this is, this is too much. <laughs> so this is the one that I thought was tangerine. I'm really hoping I didn't get tangerine and hibiscus messed up, man. I was even going off about how you can taste the citrusy on this one. Oh no, wait. Don't, oh no, it's... <laughs> Tangerine. Oh, okay, so hibiscus is correct. I feel sick. Hi, hey, hibiscus, what well, do you know? Okay. Wow, so I got five out of 10. That's embarrassing. So Pomplamoose, I thought, I don't actually remember where any of these was. I just remember I thought lime was grass crap. That's nuts, dude. Key lime, coconut, and tangerine are the ones that I knew coming in that I should have gotten. I'm surprised that I got passion fruit and hibiscus because those were the two I was between. And I just went with past experience for hibiscus. That's it for that portion of the video.
tier list time. So fairly objective, we're gonna have it up on the corner here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw normal LaCroix in at C tier simply because it's just regular seltzer water. I'm not the biggest fan of LaCroix regular seltzer water just in general, but it's just regular. So I feel like it's fine to put it a C tier. We'll just run it down, I guess. Key lime, I like it, but I couldn't drink too much of it. I think it's very nice though. I'll give it an A, a, a nice A tier on key lime. Maybe a high B tier, but like for now, A tier. It saved me from the coconut. Speaking of which, I should do this one first. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I despise coconut. That's F, that's F. Just doesn't even make the list. Just put it, put it behind the list. Passion fruit. Like I drank it, but D tier. I'm not, I'm not really feeling it. Again, it's kind of like baseline stuff here. Oh look, we're switching sides, what a surprise. Okay, what I essentially say is what I choose is over normal seltzer water. I'm not the biggest fan of orange, but I would choose it more than regular seltzer water. So I'll give orange a, I'll give orange a B. I'll give that a B. Lime, I can't believe I thought this was mango or whatever. No, no, this isn't the one I thought that was mango. Did I think orange is mango? I don't even remember, I don't even remember. I'll put lime in the A tier. It's, you can't mess up with lemon and lime. You just really can't. These are all near my laptop and I'm getting a little nervous. Pumper mousse. I'm a really big fan of the grapefruit, like flavors of any seltzer water. So I would drink this consistently. I'm tempted to put it in S tier. Yeah, I'll put it in S tier. It belongs, it, it belongs. All right, mango. It's not good. How did I get this? I, did I pour this in the wrong cup? I don't know. I just remember thinking yeah, I, look, I love mango flavor everything, but this, this is a shame to the mango flavor. I'll give it a D tier. I'll give it a D tier. It just doesn't make me want to vomit like coconut does. Raz Cran, mm, nah, D tier. I just don't like it. But again, doesn't make me vom. Tangerine? You smell it, it smells great. You taste it, it tastes great. I was convinced and I remain convinced Tangerine S tier. Hibiscus. This one's difficult because it's not as shocking as rice, cran, or mango. Like I wouldn't drink it consistently, but I'll put it in C tier just relative to everything I've done so far. So yeah, this is my LaCroix tier list. I'm a seltzer water fiend. I love seltzer water. I tend not to get LaCroix. Polar is my personally favorite brand, but I saw Danny Gonzalez's LaCroix video and then I saw Critical and Ludwig's like water tasting and I was like, I'm gonna combine them and just do the both. That's just what I did. Yoink and twist. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do productivity, typing, language videos, and the occasional random miscellaneous or skit video, kind of like this one. But those other ones are my main vibe, so I'd appreciate it if you stick around. Anyway, thanks yet again for watching. Have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.